I really wish Battling for Baby was more accessible because this is absolutely delightful. Quite surprised it's not on Netflix or Prime or anything because it's so charming with a fantastic cast. I ended up buying the DVD, which I have no problem with because I love Debbie Reynolds with a deep passion. And I have to say, she's absolutely fantastic in this. But even if she wasn't in it, if I was watching a different cast, the narrative and the style of humour I thought worked quite well. This was released in 1992, directed by Art Wolf, written by Walter Lockwood and Nancy Silvers. And the cast includes Courtney Cox, Debbie Reynolds and uh, Suzanne Pleshette. And this is about two grandmothers who basically are fighting over their first grandchild. But they are very different grandparents. Helen, played by Debbie Reynolds, is the paternal grandmother and she is very hands-on. She's always around at their house baking food and um, leaving reminders for the mother, played by Courtney Cox, to feed the child, quite simply. Very, very hands-on, very motherly and affectionate. Whereas Marie, who is actually called Marie throughout this, uh, is the maternal grandmother and her own daughter, um, Catherine, played by Courtney Cox, doesn't actually call her mother. She calls her Marie. She's got a very uh, hands-off approach um, with regards to raising her own child. Catherine was raised by a nanny while her mother put her career first. But when this baby is born, uh, little Chelsea Ann, Marie actually decides that she wants to spend some time with her grandchild. And both Helen and Marie obviously fall in love with their first grandchild, beautiful little granddaughter, and they're both fighting over her affection. But it's got a deeper backstory. It's not just two grandparents fighting over the love of a grandchild, which, let's face it, maternal and paternal grandparents can become um, quite aggressively competitive when trying to get the love of a grandchild. But they were actually best friends growing up. So they also have this past that, have, that has led to a feud. It's not just about two grandparents fighting over the love of Chelsea Ann. They have a history that gives it a much deeper layer, makes the plot a lot more interesting. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I won't say too much about how this feud manifests or what their actions are like, but they do often end up behaving like children themselves. Uh, very, very needy and desperate to be the one the grandchild loves the most. It's a lot of fun, it's really engaging. Thankfully the grandchild is never kind of hard done by. You know sometimes a, a child can be used in as a pawn in a relationship, that's never the case. And the baby who plays Chelsea Ann, once she gets to walk engage, um, when she's about one year old, absolutely adorable. I don't know the name of that baby or I assume twin babies, but very very cute. Courtney Cox was great in it. Um, the husband Philip, played by John Turs, I'll try that again. John Tulleski. Uh, I've almost definitely mispronounced that, and for that I apologise. I am terrible, terrible at pronouncing names. Um, Debbie Reynolds, obviously fantastic. Uh, I absolutely love her, and she was brilliant in this. I absolutely adored this film, and I think it was worth the effort of trying to find the DVD. Well, I say trying to find the DVD, it wasn't that difficult to find. I think I got it on eBay for less than £3. I just wish it had been on Prime or something instead. But it's definitely worth getting hold of. As I said, the DVD is not hard to find, at least in the UK. And I'm assuming since it's an American film, it will be even easier in the US. It's an absolutely delightful film that's very relaxing, very easy to watch. It's charming. You may learn something from it about relationships if you currently have a feud with somebody like this. I thought it was adorable, very well cast, very well acted, interesting narrative that's very well executed. I've got no complaints.